a mission to eliminate sickle cell anemia by 2047 will be launched. In the Union Budget 2023, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman announced plans to create awareness of sickle cell anemia with universal screening of 7 crore people in the age group of 0 to 40 years in affected tribal areas. Sickle cell anemia or SCA is a genetic blood disorder. In 1910, a physician named James Herrick wrote of discovering unusual red blood cells in an anemic student from Spain. Unlike their usual globular structure with an indented center, these blood cells were shaped like a sickle similar to the letter C. A round red blood cell can move easily through blood vessels because of its shape, but sickle red blood cells end up slowing and even blocking the blood flow. Moreover, Sickle cells die early, resulting in a shortage of red blood cells that deprive the body of oxygen. These obstructions and shortages may cause chronic anemia, pain, fatigue, acute chest syndrome, stroke, and a host of other serious health complications. Without treatment, severe cases can become fatal in the initial years of life. In India, First descriptions of SCA came around 1952 when researchers H. Lehman and Mary Catbush were studying tribal populations in the Nilgiri Hills. The presence of the sickle hemoglobin was also reported around this time among tea garden workers of Upper Asa. Research has found that the prevalence of disorders of the blood is more common among tribal populations in India. Sickle cell anemia is a genetic disorder, making complete elimination a challenge. The only cure comes in the form of gene therapy and stem cell transplants, both costly and still in developmental stages. Blood transfusion is also a trusted treatment in the absence of permanent cures. India is the second worst affected country in terms of predicted births with SCA, that is, chances of being born with the condition. The Indian Council of Medical Research and the National Rural Health Mission in different states are undertaking outreach programs. The Ministry of Tribal Affairs launched a portal wherein people can register themselves if they have the disease or the trait. The National Health Mission Guideline recommends preconception screening and genetic counselling services at community level. Genetic counselling involves creating awareness and advising two carriers about the risk of having biological children. The Union Health Minister said the government plans to distribute special cards across tribal areas to people below the age of 40. The cards will be divided into different categories based on the screening results.